brain of a bad bitch. BBB. Brain on a bad bitch. came so freaking long to get to 10. Wow, this is like a milestone <laughs> for our podcast because literally it's it's been a, quite a journey to get here, guys. Like it's you been don't a even huge understand journey. like how much hard work goes behind this shit, yeah. but it, and it's rough. Thank you guys for sticking Oh what? hell no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell oh, no. no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Anyways, Anyways, thanks for hi. sticking with us all the way to episode 10. We really, really appreciate all of you guys so much. Yes, thank you so much. Why is the sound up here? Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Literally. We have so much to tell you guys about how we even got here. Like, we haven't even <laughs> told you guys. Like, I, okay, so it was me and Raven's birthday. Yesterday was Raven's birthday. Mine's was um, last Friday. And we've been posting our memories of each other. And we yeah. had a few memories where we're talking about, like, how we thought our podcast was going to get signed. And yeah. we're going to tell you guys that story one day. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, it's a whole ass story and it has a lot to do with why we didn't post and all this stuff. But yeah. we're finally here. Yay, episode, episode 10. 10. Episode 10. This episode is going to be all about what to be doing during this lockdown. Guys, we have, our time has been extended in quarantine. Another um, month. So don't let it get you down, guys, because we're going to help you out and how to stay Active and not be a loser in, in lockdown. lockdown. That's right. We don't want to be losers in lockdown. Come out of this lockdown an even badder bitch with boss bitch moves, all yep. kinds of shit. We're going to teach you guys the things you can be doing to be leveling up during lockdown. That could be another title. Oh. Level up during lockdown. Oh, that's good too. Yeah, that's either one. That's a lot one. more positive. Anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to be, you know, right now it's a lot, on, a lot of pressure on our minds, especially because we're out of work right now. A lot of us are filing for unemployment um we're hella bored in the house we're bored in the house and we're in the house bored but we're gonna make you busy in the house and we're in, in the, the house, house busy, busy. <laughs> but especially i was thinking about it like during this time it's a lot easier to be in your feels yeah it's a, especially if you're like in lockdown by yourself it's so much easier to be in your feels and like you know how it goes, girls. We don't want to be texting back, you know, as soon as possible. But we have all the time in the world to be texting those guys back quick. But we're not going to. We're no. not letting you guys. Because guess what? They're not worth it. We're we know we said it. you can quarantine and chill. But right now, you really should just be focusing on yourself and leveling up and making moves that's going to make you come out of this quarantine on a whole nother level. Yeah. Like, you're not going to be stagnant during this quarantine. You're not going to come out the same bitch you were when this quarantine started. You're coming yeah. back better than ever. And I know a lot of people are struggling right now because a lot of people are extroverts like Kawi, whereas I'm yes. an introvert. So <laughs> I'm honestly loving this quarantine. Like, yes. I feel bad saying that because I know there are people who are, like, really struggling and people are, like, not in good situations and are stuck there. But I'm honestly loving this quarantine yeah raven loves it and until i started being around her and started quarantining with her have i begun to be grateful for the quarantine although like it's rough as fuck but yeah like we wouldn't be able to be putting out this much content as we have been and like working on our on bbb as much as you know we wouldn't yeah. be able to work on BBB if as this much quarantine if we didn't have this quarantine didn't happen we literally would not have been posting again. raven would actually still be in la if this quarantine yeah. didn't happen and we wouldn't be able to be doing this as like we are now yeah. But 
Yeah, for extroverts like me, this is rough as fuck. We're going to get through it, <laughs> Meanwhile, guys. I'm like, bye, everybody. See you later. <laughs> Fire signs. We got this. We're going to be okay. And happy Earth Day, everybody. Happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. Make sure that we're, you know, malamaying the aina. Give back to our Earth. Anyways, we're going to get straight into the points. So, okay, so right now we really need our hobbies to keep our mind busy. Yeah. We want to stay busy. Um, some things that you can do is start something. Right now is the best time to start something. Like, you could start a blog. You could start your own company. Start, you know, even if it's just drawing out things on top of a sketch pad, right now is the best time. You have all the time in the world. The things that you've been waiting to do, yep. do right now. You're literally getting a time to just relax and do whatever it is that you want to do. You have no obligations. I mean, maybe if you have kids and stuff. Yeah. But you're getting a chance right now to focus on whatever it is that you want to focus on. Mm -hmm. I feel like everyone's getting like a second chance right now. Yeah, it's like a second chance. Totally. Um, even if you have your companies already right now, you could be thinking up like new ways to advertise, um, start diving into social media more and like see how you can work with maybe other companies, do collabs. I know we have some friends, like local companies like Sweet Enemy right here, that's actually been really trying to come up with different ways and different things to get more interaction with the community. Yeah. And that's the same for us. We want to interact with you guys more. So yeah, whatever you guys want to start, do it now. For us, we've been doing a lot of that. And On the low. We a have lot some projects of, coming yes, out. Yes, we have a lot of stuff coming, guys. We're so excited. But we've been doing a lot of that, and um, we've also been having some fun. We've been uh, <laughs> taking some hot pics. I don't know if you've been seeing those pics up on the ground, but... Yeah, right now is a great time also to be building your social media, because what is everyone doing on their phones, on their laptops, on social media all day long, which is why we're, like, putting out two episodes a day because mm -hmm. everyone is, has nothing to do, so they're going to watch us. Yeah, like, right now, social media is at its peak, I feel like. It's you all know, we have. We've been complaining a lot about Instagram dying, and now I feel like Instagram's, it's back like, kind of coming back. Yeah. We have TikTok now. I've been seeing a lot of fun TikToks from everyone. Like, even if it's just having some fun doing social media stuff like that, don't feel bad about it. A lot of people want to talk shit. Yeah, there's a lot of people on Twitter saying, like, if you're over 30, you shouldn't be on TikTok. What are you guys doing going on TikTok? Blah, blah, blah. Stop posting your TikToks on Instagram. Shut the fuck up, honestly. <laughs> Just let people have fun. Like, what do you want them to yeah, do? Go sit on their couch fun. and twiddle their thumbs? Like, like, it's better than us doing, like, fucked up shit. Like, yeah. you know, like, illegal activities. Don't that let what other fine. people are saying on social media not let you do what you want right now. Yeah, it's harmless and it's all fun. So, you can do TikToks instagram stuff like that go into your yard take some pics go yeah. into your yard do some self tanning yeah you can't go to the beach and a lot of us can't go to the beach some of us have private access but go into your yard lay out that blanket and but, tan yeah. those cheeks girl literally all last don't week don't get that's white all we in did. quarantine that's literally all we did it was tan we tanned <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah we did that Oh, and you don't need someone to take your hot pics. Self-timer works. I have pictures on my Instagram that's been self-timer. Self-timer is a yeah, charm. It really a is. Charm. And you can also get one of those Bluetooth um, remotes and yeah. take, take pictures for you. <laughs> um, this time is also a really good time to start getting creative. Like writing, journaling. Getting in touch with yourself. Yeah, a lot of self-reflection is really good right now. I know that I've been doing a lot of that. Rave's been doing a lot of that. Yeah, it's good. I know... Like, being alone and having alone time and being in your thoughts is kind of scary, but it's, like, it's vital. Yeah. You need it. A lot of you are going to be coming out of this quarantine, like, a whole new person and mm -hmm. gaining a whole new appreciation for so many different things. Right now is a great time to be journaling, to be manifesting, to be getting yourself back on track, to focus on what you need to work on, mm -hmm. because it, you, all you have is you right now at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. Even if it's just starting off in your journal, like... 20 things I'm grateful for yeah or 20 things that I want to happen like you can start off with that and journaling I know a lot of people have issues with journaling though like a lot of people don't a lot of people know don't, where to start yeah because they're not used to it I started by just writing every morning 10 things I'm thankful for yeah and then you write 10 things that you want to happen you could do 10 things that you need to work on. Mm -hmm. Just like visually writing it out and seeing it really helps you. Yeah, especially if you go back every day and you look over it. That's like even more helpful. But I know a lot of us don't do that. Yeah. But I was telling one of my friends like there's no like there's no structure in journaling. You journal however you want, whatever you feel, even if it's you talking to yourself. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes like I'll even go into my phone notes and like I feel a certain way about someone and I'll like act like I'm talking to them in my notes and like sending a text kind of thing. And that, like, gets a lot out instead of sending it to them. Yeah. You know? So you can do stuff like that. 
Um, reading right now is a really good time to read. Like, read books, guys. Not only is it because you're getting educated from what the book is talking about, but it's also, like, it builds your vocabulary. It builds <laughs> a lot of us. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed, but I can barely speak. <laughs> no, yeah, reading is really awesome. I've actually been reading um, this. It's called The Book of Life, and it's talking about, like, how to find your inner peace and um, harmony in relationships with everyone not just romantically and it's really been helping me a lot and like see the things that I need to work on because it's kind of telling you like how not to play the victim card like you don't want to play victim just how to go about different relationships so yeah reading you can go on YouTube and watch inspirational videos you mm -hmm. can do everything like TED talks listen to different podcasts listen to BBB <laughs> if your favorite podcast of them all <laughs> um, another thing you can do during this time is find different ways to make money yeah like, the most important thing you should be doing right now. I mean, there are some people that have jobs that are essential. That's totally awesome, awesome. and amazing. Yeah, we're but if you. you are somebody who is tired of working for other people, use this time to start something up. Mm -hmm. Everybody has something that they're interested in. And honestly, guys, it's not as hard as it seems. It really is. It all starts with you just starting. Like, just getting yeah. the ball rolling. I saw a quote and it was like, it can either be one day... Or today can be day one. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's not as hard as it seems. All you need to do is put in the work and do some research and you can start anything you want to start. Truly anything. Yeah, truly. And although we do have a lot of time right now, we don't have a lot of time. Yeah, at the same time. Because the ideas that you have that you think are original and stuff, somebody might come up with it. Like, yeah. So many times I've thought about things that I wanted to start and then like I wait on it, I wait on it. And a few months later, someone else comes up with it. Yeah. You don't want that. Like, start now. Now's the day. This is your sign. If you needed a sign to start, start now. We're trying to build up some boss-ass bitches. Yeah. Boss-ass bad bitches. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, another thing to do during this time to level up is get better at something. Mm. Get better at things that you're already good at. Or start a new hobby. Yeah. Like me, I never cooked before this quarantine. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I put up a practice cooking. Yeah. Now I know how to make... All kinds of stuff. We're so proud of Miss <laughs> Ravy. She has started to cook. Thank the Lord. Ooh, wifey material. My future family she knows is very happy. Make, what do you know how to make now? Tell them. Um, What did I make? I made soup. <laughs> She's learned how to make fish and beef tacos. Oh, yeah, I made tacos. She made... What is that salad thing that you made? Which one? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You made some kind of salad. <laughs> oh, I made a vegan Caesar salad <laughs> with something. Oh, I made pesto pasta. Oh, she made pesto pasta. <laughs> Yesterday, she made her own um, crab salad. Mm -hmm. Today, <laughs> I made a birthday. poke bowl. Yep, love it. We love to see it. But basically, guys, you can just... Pick up new hobbies and learn the things that you've been wanting to learn. And now, guys, we have YouTube. You can learn literally anything. anything. Even if you're good at makeup, go on to your favorite moves. Learn some new, like, makeup tricks. Start making your makeup even better. Mm -hmm. Do that. You can learn a language, guys. I know. I need I to wish learn we Spanish. We should really learn some languages. Spanish. Guys, imagine. And not only is it sexy, but being bilingual helps you a lot. Um... And like work and all that kind of stuff too. Mm -hmm. It's just something cool. Just you keep your, your kids. mind busy yeah. and active. You can even take up gardening. I know a lot of people doing that right now too. And like really? trying to be sustainable. Um, so that's cool. Ooh, right now is a really good time to work on your skincare. Oh yeah, you know take why? Because you're not seeing anybody. Yeah. So don't wear makeup for a few days. Grow out your mm -hmm. lashes. Do whatever you want. Yep. Oh, right now guys. Them lashes... How are you guys doing? Ladies, how are you doing? I know that I'm freaking dying. I cheated. Having a pedicure and a manicure. I cheated. <laughs> <laughs> right now. I found I'm... a little lash plug. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but I know we're all kind of dying out here. Like I remember, um, actually both of my birthdays were talking about how we want a pedicure so bad. Yeah, I really want a pedicure. It's rough out here. I mean, here. we could... We could do homemade things. Yeah, but... Yeah, you can actually look up like, you know, how to do your own homemade things with pedicures and manicures but it's not the same yeah it's absolutely not the same so whatever you have at home take a long bath take longer baths put a little fizzy what is it called the bubble the bath, the bombs. bath bombs use some bath bombs put on that scrub put on that mask self-care right self -care. now take care of yourself you guys you guys are your bodies are getting a break you're getting to reset literally your mind and body so yeah. take care of yourself during this time yeah and it's going to be good, guys. Even though you don't have your lashes right now, go get some coconut oil and go get some vitamin E oil, castor, castor oil. oil. Put them on top of your lashes. Grow them babies out. Right now is the best time for your 
skin and your physical body to just breathe. Breathe and reset. We're breathing. We're letting the inside and our outside breathe right now. Yeah. So, guys, <laughs> we're coming back out of this quarantine popping. 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 We're not coming out, <laughs> out of shape, guys. We're going to be in shape. Even if summer is canceled, which I hope it isn't, we're going to have that summer bod at home flexing on our couch, flexing in our living room. Flexing on our exes. <laughs> flexing on our exes. Um, I work, we, we can work out at home, guys. There's n honestly no excuse. There's if no you're excuse. able to work out, you should be able to work out at home. And you don't even need weights, guys. No, you can use things in your kitchen. You, you can, can use, use a rice kinds. bag. You yeah. can literally use a rice bag. You can fill up a like a backpack with books or like with rocks or something. Yeah, if my I, ancestors could do it, we can fucking do it, sis. I've been literally YouTubing different workouts mm -hmm. like every day. There's so much workouts on YouTube. There's no excuse to not be working yeah, out. Yeah, there's hit workouts. There's scope workouts. There's booty workouts. Even for guys, there's so many Ab workouts. workouts. Like, yeah, YouTube is literally the plug. Um, also, during this time, I know you see me and Raven use um, those booty bands a lot. Sloth bands. Yeah, they're called sloth bands. They're created by our friend and personal trainer, um, Coach Konia, Justin Konia. Justin Konia. So you can actually purchase sloth bands, and Raven has a code. Ravewood10. Yeah, you can get a discount on those sloth bands, and he yeah. has a lot of different colors, um, and he'll ship it to you. Sloth, it's awesome. Yeah. They literally, if you're wondering how our butts get built so fast i literally only started working out maybe last week and my butt has already grown thanks to sloth bands yeah so sloth totally... bands changed my ass like yeah. dead ass <laughs> dead ass dead ass Guys, changed my had ass. No ass did i really have no, had ass? no ass really it was like it was like there but it wasn't there you rave your ass has like literally changed I know, sometimes I look in the mirror so and I'm like, She's I like, look like Kim Kardashian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, like, Rave was a little skinny mini, like, little yeah. tiny butt, and now she has a fat ass. How? Sloth bands. Literally. Literally. But yeah, guys, you know, you can just do, you can do everything with it. So yeah, just, if you guys are interested in sloth bands, go to sloth bands on Instagram or Coach Kunia and you can hit them up and then use Raven's code. Um, also, and there may be a Ravewood sloth band coming out. No, Soon. you there will be. There will be. There You're will right. Be. There will be. Just wait on it. <laughs> Just wait on it. Um, and another thing is too, I work with F45 now. If you guys want daily workouts, you can always hit me up and we'll put your email and you can get some home daily workouts that have personal trainers. And we also are doing like live workouts on Saturdays where you can train with other people. So that's fun if you want to like interact with others during this time. So yeah, hit me up with that. Um, follow workout pages on Instagram. To stay motivated. Yeah. You'll see like these girls with hot ass bodies and you're like oh i want to look like that and i can look like that yeah my favorite girl to follow is katya henry because she posts workout things and like how to stay mentally okay during this time she's a really good person to follow she's and she's hot love as fuck. her yeah she's, she's hot as bitch. fuck love her. she's hot as fuck but yeah um and if you're not if you're quarantined with other people like your family take this time to spend time yeah with them. spend time with your fam uh, like during our regular lives we're always on the go always working we're like you know, just kind of thinking about ourselves. Right now is a good time to be selfish, but also like give more love to your family and to those that, you know, care about you. Yeah. Like I was in LA for a couple months. So I'm using this time to like rebond with my brother, hang out with my mom. Granted, we do drive each other crazy, which is why I had to spend last week at Cowie's house. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad to be getting that time back. So use this time to just hang with your family. You guys are all stuck together. Mm -hmm. And this is for a reason. You can rebuild things that have been broken, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, everything is happening for a reason. If you're quarantined and stuck with your family, it's for a reason, guys. Yeah. There's not, like, a bad reason that it's happening. Like, you guys can play board games, go outside, fly a damn kite, go work out together, get yeah. your family in it, too. Um, I know for some of it's kind of hard because some of our families aren't the most, like, you know, close, but... Work on it. Now's the best time to work on it. So that's good. And if you have kids, just look up online for some things for them to do together, you know, parent and kid activities. I know a lot. I see a lot of um, parents on Instagram, like, painting and doing all kinds and making cookies and all that kind of stuff. So Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Really happy for you guys doing that. Um, if you have a yard, don't be shame. Go get a blow-up pool. Go get a <laughs> blow-up pool and go sit inside that blow-up pool and have a little cocktail with you and whoever's with, like, there. Oh, right now is the best time to clean your damn house oh yes clean your house spotless rave just cleaned her room yesterday it gives me anxiety when my room is like i have ocd about my room yeah like clean your room do a deep clean why not 
we have so much time right now to be deep cleaning our room and to get rid of old clothes. And when we're yeah. getting rid of old things, guys, we're getting rid of old energy that no longer serves us. Yeah. So it's really good. Go through your stuff in your closet. Go through. Rearrange your room. Yeah. Get a, do a whole new vibe in your room. Yeah. Your Amazon part. is everywhere I get everything from my room. Feng shui, guys. It's all about the feng shui because when your room is like you can vibe in your room that's the best because your energy is just so much better yeah led lights <laughs> all kinds yeah, everyone's of stuff been asking where rave gets her led lights she gets it from amazon, amazon. But yeah take i need care. to put one of those lights here because this one is just dying out and then we'll have more colors because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. i have we should do that after put those well, lights, lights here over here aren't doing anything well they're not plugged in oh Okay. Well, anyways, but yeah, taking care of your home helps with the home inside of here. Yes. So do that, guys. When my clean room it. is clean and, like, good, like, I feel so good. Mm -hmm. It's nice to just walk into your room and everything's clean. Like, and it's just, your space. Yeah, like, you just genuinely like the way it looks. Mm -hmm. It helps a lot. Um, oh, I was actually reading some stuff. You want to know a funny one? When I was looking up some, like, things to talk about... It was so funny because I found this online website and it was like saying like good things and you get to number four and it was like, um, text your ex. Maybe you have some things to get off of your chest. <laughs> and I was cracking up. Don't do that. Don't no, text your ex. No, but ladies. I think it could be a good time to rehash, not rehash, but hash, um, out. hash out like maybe you lost a friend and you want to apologize. Mm -hmm. Because I had a friend text me yesterday for my birthday that was like, you know, I'm, I know we've drifted and I hope you don't have anything against me, but I still love and appreciate you, blah, blah, blah. And I texted her back and I just felt bad. Like, I mended that friendship, you know? Because right now, what? What are you going to do? You know, that actually happened with me too for my birthday. Oh, yeah, it did. Yeah, that's so funny. Yeah. Yeah, guys. You know, forgiveness. Forgiveness helps a lot. Um, people do us wrong. And we're going to talk about this more in another podcast about friends and relationships. And people do us wrong and we can't control that. But what we can control is how we react and what we do with it. And once, even if they don't ask for, for forgiveness, when we forgive in our hearts, it really helps with how everything yeah, around us Yeah, I was just works. telling my Erica about that today. Yeah. And the thing about forgiveness is a lot of times, like, I want to forgive somebody, but I don't really know how to forgive them. Mm -hmm. And I read in a book and it was like, as long as you're willing to forgive the universe and God will take care of the rest for you. So you just need mm -hmm. to be genuinely willing to forgive and say, genuinely. you know what, I'm willing to forgive you. I'm not sure how, but I'm willing to start that process. It'll just happen for you mm -hmm. naturally. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, forgiveness is literally a key in life. Yeah. It's going to help you so much and it's going to take like so much of a burden off of your chest. Yeah. When you hold grudges, you're really just hurting yourself at the end of the it's day. It's blocking blessings. Yeah, it like, truly me, is. It will block your blessings if you don't forgive someone. Like, even if it's somebody all the way from your past or an ex-boyfriend or, yeah. or a parent or mm -hmm. something like that, like something a long time ago, it really, really holds heavy on your heart. And sometimes you don't even realize how much people you need to forgive. Like, you don't realize Like one it. time I sat down and I closed my eyes and I was like, okay, I'm going to think about everybody that's mm. hurt me and I need to forgive them. And the list just kept going, going and, and going. going. And I was like, holy shit, I actually hold resentments towards so many people and I didn't realize. Yeah. It's, so, yeah. That's a good thing to do. Yeah, during this time, maybe you should do that. Like, close your eyes or open up that journal. Go to Target or wherever. And Amazon. Journal, order from Amazon. Or order from Amazon. Whatever you want to do, go and write inside that journal people that you need to forgive. It's yeah. going to help you guys so much. People you can you send out letters, too, or yeah. texts to people you need to forgive. Yeah, that's what I was going to talk about, too, is that during this time, you can also, like, write letters. Write letters to your fam. Like, write letters to people that are Be aren't cute. Here. Send yeah, cute things. Everyone not? wants to receive a cute little gift. Yeah, letters are nice to receive. Yeah. And um, once you do all of that, maybe you can start sending out thank you notes to, like, people that oh, you yeah, know. Oh, yeah, thank you notes. Yeah, like, people that... We should actually do that. Send out thank you yeah. notes to people that you know that's working in, like, the medical field. Like, maybe you have an auntie or uncle that's doing some overtime work or working during this virus that just really needs some encouragement. Right now, a lot of us need encouragement, guys. Shoot a text, start a group chat with your girlfriend, send yeah. encouraging words like dirt, like daily or once a week or something. Like that would be, it's really awesome. And yeah. it makes others feel good, you know? And yourself feel good too. I know a lot of us miss the club. <laughs> we miss the club. We miss partying with our friends. We just miss being able to go out and be social. And do it on our time. Yeah, we miss it. But guys, now we have this thing called Zoom and it's not the same, but so many people are having like Zoom cocktail parties and it's just as fun. Like, you're not next to each other physically, but seeing each other, talking story, and, like, you can do the group Zoom stuff is really fun. I know I've been doing that with, um, like, F45. We have Palhanas on some days, and we're just drinking, talking story, catching up. And, yeah, you can do that. Um, another thing you can do, too, is make some quarantine goods. 
Food? No, like, um, people have been making, like, hand sanitizers and stuff. Oh, yeah, make, yeah, you can make your own skincare, you can make a lot of hand people sanitizer. Been My mom made her own soap. Oh, you know what you guys can start during this time is a YouTube channel. And a lot of people think that you need, like, a camera and a mic and all this. Guys, we're using our iPhone we're to film this. We're using our iPhone, you know. A lot of people are surprised <laughs> that we're using our iPhone. Yeah, we're using an iPhone. Our iPhones have really good quality. Okay, we're not using the iPhone mic, we have this mic. But the iPhone mic, it's only because we're standing far away. But if you're doing a YouTube channel, vlogging, whatever, the mic is fine. No, yeah. Sometimes we do use the audio from the phone and it works just as good. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys don't need to buy an expensive editing program. You can literally use iMovie. It's fine. I've edited some of my videos on iMovie. But start that YouTube channel, sis. What else are you going to do? Now's the perfect time. Everyone is home. You have mm-hmm. time to learn things, how to edit, how to do this. Start that YouTube channel because I know a lot of girls want to start one. Yeah. And a lot of people are ashamed too. Like, oh, I don't want people are going to talk about me. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? Girl... Everyone's gonna always talk. Yeah, they're gonna talk whether you do it or don't, so just do it. So why not? I mean, I know I've been wanting to start for a long time and still haven't, but not (laughs) so it's fine. (laughs) But yeah, figure out like what you want your YouTube to be about. Figure out your what is that your niche? Niche. Your niche? Niche, I I think. think. Niche. Okay, so I figure out (laughs) You know what we're talking about. Go start that OnlyFans. I think we should talk about the OnlyFans. Go start that OnlyFans. Okay, Kawi, what's your thoughts about girls making OnlyFans during quarantine? I'm just like, whatever, do you, sis? Rave is kind of the one that changed my perspective on it because at first I was like, oh shit, like, we're doing this now. But then once Rave was, like, telling me, and this was a long time ago when, like, the first, like, when OnlyFans was out before quarantine and stuff, when Rave was saying, like, we already post those kind of pictures on Instagram, why not get paid for it? Yes, yeah, so here's the thing about OnlyFans. Me, personally... First of all, I don't give a fuck what anybody does. Do you? Yeah. That's like one of our biggest models is if you want to put your vagina out there, sis, go, go for ahead. it. We're, we're fucking rooting for you. <laughs> but me, personally, I don't want to put my vagina on OnlyFans. Yeah, like if I were to have an OnlyFans, I'd put bikini pics, maybe yeah. lingerie. And the thing is, is girls, you can sucker these guys into paying $45 a month to see pictures that are already freaking on your IG. For me, I just don't understand how come you guys aren't doing like the maximum amount. Ladies, please Why are you guys stop charging five dollars a month. Girls, put it to the max. Yeah, they'll pay. They'll pay. Guys, men are disgusting and they're creeps. And they'll scam these fuckers. Scam them. <laughs> Get in their bag and your bag too, sis. Yeah. Why not charge them? Charge the max, the max for they your OnlyFans. That's my thoughts about OnlyFans. If you're gonna make one, charge the full the amount. Max. Yeah. Go, if you're gonna go all in, go all in. Not your Do vagina, it. but go all in in the max. <laughs> Of paying. Do it, guys. If like, you're going to make that money, then make that make money. Make that money. And we've been seeing, like, a lot of tweets and a lot of, like, um, girls posting about it. They've been making, like, 10K in one fucking week. Yeah. You know why? Because they charge the max. But there is... I know there's girls... If you don't feel comfortable making one, don't. don't. Yeah. I know, like, it seems like, oh, it's such an easy way to get money. Like, easy, 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 whatever. I need money quick. But integrity is always greater yeah. than money, ladies. And not saying that doing it OnlyFans, like, is it that but it's just if you don't feel like you should do it then yeah. don't don't feel pressured because you see everyone else do it yeah it's literally just like if you're comfortable do it if you're not comfortable don't do it because me and Kyle were considering doing a bbb yeah, only fans but not even because i was talking to justin yesterday and he was like well you guys can just do it where you can talk to people that want to talk to you guys or like you know like ask questions or like per- like things that they won't see on the podcast they'll have to pay for there Oh, I guess. Like, clips and stuff like that. So, be, OnlyFans doesn't have to be sexual. Yeah, it, it doesn't really have doesn't. to be about yourself. There's, there's all kinds of OnlyFans. There's girls that are literally just posting regular schmegler pics and they're getting Selfies, yeah. Yeah, like... Honestly, it's smart. <laughs> yeah, it's really smart. Like, I really... See, whenever my friends are doing it, I'm, like, promoting them. I'm like, yeah, yeah shout out to them. Erica, Erica Diego. Diego. Subscribe to her motherfucking OnlyFans, the best OnlyFans in it. Hawaii, bitch. She takes the cutest pics, honestly, guys. Like, not yeah. only because she's our friend, but she's fucking hot as shit and the most sweetest girl ever. Like, go subscribe. Yeah. $45 a month. She ain't cheap, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, like, know your guy's worth, guys. Yeah. That's, like, the bottom of it is know your guy's worth. And then everything else will flow. Yeah. And don't know your worth from what other people are saying. Reflect. Figure out what you want, what you need, who you are. And that's how you figure out how you're, what your worth is. Biggest thing. Stay true to you. Stay true to you. If that's posting your vagina, post your vagina. <laughs> if that's posting a selfie, post your selfie. If that's posting some Whatever ass, post your ass. makes you happy, that's what you do. Yeah. Don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. Like, it's what you want to do. Literally. Everyone's like, me and Rave, everyone talks shit about us. 
Oh, we everybody. Talk shit about us, but we don't give a shit because you know why? We know who we are. Mm-hmm. Like, people will call us names. People will call us, oh, you guys aren't bad bitches, but you're doing... Mm-hmm. Every time but we I see a... But I know I'm a bad bitch. Like... Yeah. I know. And I know that you guys watching this are all bad bitches, too. And like we said, bad bitch isn't about your looks. It's not. It's about your mentality. It's about your mentality. So, yeah. People are going to talk, but whatever. Haters are going to hate. And you know when people hate, it's just a reflection of them. Themselves. And that they don't know their own. People that are always freaking negative on Twitter are the ones that are so miserable. And bored. And unhappy and bored. And it's, I hate seeing the negativity on Twitter. Like, it, it really... Sometimes I just can't go on Twitter. They just tweet the most rude things, and I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, why are you tweeting that? <laughs> oh, yeah, guys, during this time, too, if you need to take a little cleanse Oh, social take a media, social media break. Do that social media break. Like, delete the apps. Like, you can also, like, um, suspend your account for a little... Yeah, because, like we said, social media is all we have right now, but it is kind of getting overwhelming at mm-hmm. times. It like, does get overwhelming. Don't be too consumed in social media. Yeah, guys, because... And, like, once you guys start getting super consumed, it really, like, puts pressure. So, delete the apps for a little. Take care of yourself. I did a three-month social media cleanse once, and it literally, like, saved my life. But, yeah. <laughs> it saved my life, dead ass. But, yeah, guys. So, do you have any That's more good. to say? No, that's good. Can be short. Okay. Well, ladies, we don't want you guys to fail in this quarantine. We, we don't want you to be a loser. We don't want you in to lockdown. be a loser in lockdown. We want you to level up. We want to always level up. A bad bitch always levels up yep. and thinks of different ways to level up. If you guys have any questions, please let us know. Our our DMs are open and we try to get to you as much as we can. Um, guys. Send in actual, like, questions. questions with depth in it or, like, just stop sending stupid shit. Like, we get so much <laughs> stupid shit. Do you like, really? We get stupid shit from guys. Boys, this isn't for you to be sending us, like, yeah. weird-ass shit. We don't... And don't use the DM... Uh, don't use the BBB DMs to try and side with us. Yeah, please stop. No. And it's also, like, who are you trying to... <laughs> yeah, we're like, me, me or her. Right me or her. <laughs> but our next episode um, is actually going to be about... Sexy. That's why this one was very calm and sober. Yeah. It's crazy because that, our last episode had the most views so far, like so fast. Yeah, it literally, guys, thank you so much for But the we love. didn't get a lot of feedback. Yeah, so we we're did. like, boys, uh, are was you that okay? Smart asses, are you guys afraid to like, say they're that afraid. You, you know why they're afraid? Because they didn't know how to turn a girl on. But it's fine, guys. Send us your feedback. We want some men actually have been commenting and like, uh, we did get a little bit of feedback and women thought it was hilarious and guys thought it was gems like they loved yeah. it so give us your feedback we want to interact with you guys as long as it's like on a bbb level sense. like as long as it makes sense to be interacting with you yeah but yeah let us know what you guys thought about the last episode which was what was it though how to turn a girl oh, how to turn how, a girl, how to make a bad, bad bitch wet, wet. Yeah. yeah um let us know if you use the tricks what it how it went <laughs> um but yeah our next episode is about sexting what are your guys thoughts on sexting we want to know. Do so you send like us, dick pics? Yeah. Do we like dick pics? Do you use Snapchat for dick pics? Do, do you, you send? Sna- yeah. Do you Snapchat nudes? What about FaceTime sex? We want to know what you guys think about send it. Send us your questions now because that's going to be next week's episode mm-hmm. and we will cover it and answer your question. And don't worry, we will not put your name that you that you asked. So we'll keep everything anonymous. Yeah. And we want to do more shout outs and stuff like that. So if you... Actually, let us know if you care if it's anonymous or not because... Nah, I think it's shit. If you want to be if anonymous, you, yeah. then write, stay anonymous. Yeah, put anon inside of the message. And, and don't worry, we'll you. never expose yeah, you. Yeah, we'll never expose. But we want to shout you guys out more, get you guys more interactive with the BBB community. Ooh, how does that sound? BBB, BBB community. community. Yep. But yeah, let us know, guys. Um, Thank you so much for sticking around for episode 10. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Brain of a Bad Bee on Twitter, Brain yeah. of a Bad Bitch on Instagram. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Give us five stars on Apple Podcasts and on Spotify. And we love you guys so much. We hope you enjoyed episode 10. Yes. And we hope big bad bitches are going to level up during this quarantine. Love you guys. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Is that a song? Huh? Is that a real yeah, song? Oh, yeah, it is. It is. Okay. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Love, love you. you.